Hello, I'm Roger Snell, and welcome to my first attempt at a book podcast. When you have a face for radio and a voice for newspapers, this might not be the brightest idea I've ever had. Uh, I wanted to tell you about uh, my second book, uh, just finished this morning uh, with all the editing and everything, Love, Grandpa. Um, it is more than my life story, but it is a, a memoir, so... I say with a little bit of nervousness that I'm about to subject my life to being critiqued, reviewed, and I hope not rejected. Uh, let's let's hope this goes well uh, with what you all think about the book. My greatest uh, trepidation, though, is about talking about religion, something that I previously have kept kind of private and to myself, probably wrongly so. But some things happened to me in the hospital in April, uh, several near-death experiences that uh, have made it clear what I'm supposed to share and actually is exactly what prompted this book. Uh, the spirit was real clear and the messages uh, were heaven sent and uh, will be the key to what I want to share with you in this book was made easier because my audience was Izzy, our granddaughter who will be three right about the time this book comes out. And you see that Hollywood rock star uh, over my shoulder here on the cover of the book, wearing her sunglasses and all relaxed in the back of the wagon. And back when I still needed canes to get around and really struggling with strength and health and all of that. So it is, Izzy was my audience to share these personal experiences. I hope in times of need when she gets older, but also hope that it benefits you as well, that you'll find some hope and comfort and inspiration in a troubled world. As I report from death's door and share what I witnessed and my certain knowledge that heaven is real and life is eternal. As I mentioned, the book's done. I finished all of the final edits this morning. I had three editors who worked on this very diligently and very thoroughly and have done a, a great job of shaping this. And when you're a writer like me, one editor's not enough. You gotta have three to be able to fix it and get it in shape. As a final note, I wanted to share that as I was writing the memoir, I thought it was going to be the story of my life, and instead it's the story of extraordinary people who influenced me. And I guess the greatest uh, thing I learned as I got to the final chapter was I thought I was spending my entire life trying to change the world, and instead the world changed me. I hope for the better. I started out as a reporter digging in dirt and finding the worst in people. And then I met the first members that I know of, of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and that really helped me to see the world differently. I would later become a bishop and be surrounded by Latter-day Saints who showed the best in people, who endured many trials and tests of life that they turned into testimony. So I'd like to share some more of those uh, stories in addition to what's in the book uh, through these short videos and also on the website. So if you like the video, um, let me know. Go to rogersnell.com and use the contact form to tell me if you'd like to see more uh, or any other thoughts you might have. And check out the blogs and the stories there because I'll be sharing more photos and more information. Thanks for joining me and look for the book November the 1st uh, in both paperback and ebook at Amazon. Thank you.